Hey, this is Gopar, and this is another tutorial on eLisp. And in this one, we're going to be talking about association list and property list. Um, they're both pretty similar, but they're still got their minor differences. All right, so first one we're going to be talking about is association lists, which are also called a list for short. Now, a list can be thought of as a list of lists or as a 2D array, if that makes more sense for you. Okay, so enough talking, and let's just actually see what this looks like. So uh, as usual we have a list and then we have a list inside a list what did I just say so um, actually no that should be Gohan and then Goku over here because that's the way life goes and then we have Trunks and Vegeta and da -da, that is an association list right there it's pretty simple right unbelievable all right now the thing that you might notice right away is that each element inside this list is a dotted <clears throat> is a dotted cell <clears throat> con cell which we learned on the previous video now the way we interpret this association list is or at least how we are supposed to read it is by saying that gohan has an association with goku and the association is that the is that Gohan is the son of Goku now this can be any association I just put this as an example um, Goku, Goku, Vegeta and all these characters are from an anime called Dragon Ball Z because that's the greatest of all time bam bam alright now moving on now the same thing can be said about Trunks and Vegeta Trunks is the son of, uh, of Vegeta so that's the association but we can also read this another way or at least if we set it up a different way and that is by doing this. Am I still on? Yes. Okay, cool. So we can still actually remove the dotted con cell and just make it into a regular um, list inside. So if we do this, boom, nothing changes. Everything is still the same. But if we read this according to the docs, it's supposed to be, oops, it's supposed to be reversed. The order is supposed to be reversed. Yeah. So if you want to read, um this the same way but without the dotted notation then you would have to do this which is basically saying the same thing that gohan is the has an association with goku trunks with vegeta pretty much um that is how it's supposed to be read and you can go and uh, and so the main thing that you need to know is that when you're doing the association list you should stick to either dotted all dotted or no, or just no dotted console so it's up to preference taste up to you but um, that's you know consistency is key all right cool so let me actually show you some operations that you can do with um, with Lisp so let's see uh, let's do set QB Dragon Ball Z to oops that was from earlier from testing uh, but um so let's just do this one cool so now DBZ is set to the association list all right cool so now I want to grab an association how do I do that well then you just do this handy little method uh, association and then I want to grab whatever is associated to Goku Ta -da! Goku boom and where do I want to grab it from? From this association list. So what do you expect we're going to get? Boom. Goku and Gohan. So as always, if you actually wanted to get the um, the value, then we just do car. No, wait. Uh, we do CDR. CDR to get the remaining and then bam, Gohan. But, um, and as always, if this would have been an association list, I mean a, con, a dotted cell, then this would have been just Gohan by itself. Ta da on magic. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Also, the one thing that you need to know is that when you're doing association list, it's just like the the consoles. It um, e list does not care what goes inside of here as long as it's a valid list object. So Lisp. Uh, so in that regard. Elist is very kind and forgiving, unlike my parents. I'm just kidding. I don't have parents. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, but just you know, any valid list object. It doesn't. It doesn't care. It's it's opening. It's like yeah, sure, whatever. Come here, man. I'll I'll make room for you or whatever. All right, cool. That's one thing to to keep in mind. Now, um, hmm. So what happens if I do an association of something that doesn't happen, um, doesn't exist, like let's say uh, pizza. 
nil. Oh, actually, let me just get rid of this. Yeah, so I still get nil. Same thing. All right, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, um, works straightforward. I'll put more links um, to the documentation down below for these uh, type of things. But you know what? Let me just do some uh, one final example. Um, but do, 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 do. so let's do since we're talking about anime, let's just do this. So favorite favorite anime is uh, One Piece. That's for sure, straight up. Full Metal Alchemist, and then uh, Shrek. Shrek is an anime. Did you know? Did you guys know that? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Boo, Spider Man, because I can't think of anything, and then uh, SpongeBob. Sure, why not? All right, cool. Dead on. So now we have anime set to an A list, and we have that. So now, what happens if I want to get um, something from here? Well, as previously, we said association, right? So you're like, all right, cool. I know how to do this. I got it. I got it. I'm a big boy or big girl or whatever. Big uh, human being. Association uh, favorite into uh, anime. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Now, let's see. Um, there's another method, too. It's called ACQ. And if we do that, Boom, we get the same thing. That is pretty amazing. So you're saying, all right, cool. What's the difference between um, these two if they do the exact same thing? Well, then, I'm glad you asked. One quick and easy thing, well, a way to find out what these functions do is do Control H and then F and then type in the name of the function that you want to know more about. Remember, documentation is always is always correct. So what does this do? Return non nil if key is equal to the car of an element equal. Is uh, so what does eq do? Return true if two arcs are the same list object. All right, cool, cool. So if they're the exact same list object, then uh, true. So what does uh, the other one do? Return non nil if key uh, if what is it? Return non nil if key is equal to the car of an element of an A list. Equal. Okay, so you see right there, those are two um, different functions. The other one was just saying eq, and this one saying equal. So the difference between those two is that equal is just kind of checks if they have the similar context, if they look alike, um, they'll be they should be the same. It says yeah, you pass. But if we use the other one, EQ, it needs to be the exact same object. And right now, I'll give you an example of that, just a little quick example, and then we'll move on to the uh, to, uh, um, property lists. Cool, so let me demo it. So let's say um, we have equal, and we'll, I guess we'll find out. Hey, 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 they're the same, right on. Now, if we do equal, Boom, they are not the same because they are not the same Lisp object, but they do have the same Lisp content. So that's why this one passes and this one's fail. And um, depending on which uh, function you want to use, you should use it accordingly. And remember, read the docs because those are very important, kids. All right, cool. Um, let's go on to property lists. All right, I'm going to close this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and let's scoot that up a little. There we go. All right, cool. So property lists are also called as plists for short because uh, nobody wants to say property list. Why bother? But yeah. Okay, so they're a little different. You might be asking how. Well, then I'll just shut up and show you, my friend. All right, here we go. So now Shrek, Fiona. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, blue, red, um, sky, and floor. Why not? So we have property list right here. All right, cool. Um, that is a property list right there, but that is useless. So let's save it to actually something else. So set Q P list and then put them. So now, how do we know this is actually a property list? Well, then, good question. Hopefully, you know, you gotta believe in the heart of cards. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna do some function method, function operations on it, some operations on it right now. So what are some type of uh, property list functions that we can do? Well, we can do plist get and then the name of the property list and then what property we want to get. We want to get Shrek. Boom, we get Fiona. We want to get red. 
Actually, no. Um, doing. Uh, let's see what happens if we do red. That's interesting. Boom. Nil. Wow. Okay, cool. And if we do blue, we should get... Oops. Uh, some, can't spell, apparently. Blue, we should get red. Sweet. And as usual, if we do sky, we should get floor. But look what happened. If we did red right here, it's saying um, it's not associated with... An, it's not... There's nothing to return. Because Shrek is with Fiona. Blue is with red. And sky is with floor. But, um... So it says, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing with red, but um, just like that. Now, um, that seems pretty straightforward, and that's because it is. And as usual, um, let me give you one last example so that I can show you. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, P list with um, let's see. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Foo one bar. And let's grab the associated bar. What do you think? It's going to be... Oh, wrong number. P less three. Get, oh, I need to erase this. There we go. That should be no. All right, cool. So what happens if I had an association? Or at least a property? Well, then, what do you think is going to be here? Well, we're just going to return the list of one, two, three. Yep. That's pretty pretty straightforward. It's like an association list. It does not matter what is on the what is on the other side as long as it's a valid list object all is good all right cool now uh, let's see I've shown you the association list of Sony the proper list all right cool now I guess what I should tell you now is when you should use these because they are pretty similar um, when you first look at them you're like what why do we need to well then it's a little um, some of them have their specific use. So here's what I'm. Here's my opinion. If you're just going to be using it for yourself, just use you know either one. It doesn't matter association or property list. It doesn't matter as long as you're consistent on how you're doing it. If you're, for example, going to say, all right, I'll do association list. Just make sure you're <clears throat> you're either all in on you know dotted consoles or just regular list inside inside of it type of deal. But in Emacs, they actually do make a distinction. For example, if you're, you work anything with faces or changing how you want, you know, the text to look within Emacs, you're gonna have to use property list. For example, um, let's see. If I run, if I evaluate <clears throat> text uh, properties at point, uh, I get. Um, I can't. I don't know if you can see it all the way in the mini buffer. But I do get properties that are at, oops that are uh, dang it that are attached attached to that text, and these properties in the the way they're created or at least attached is by setting a property list to that face. So if, for example, that property or some other property might be might look like a foreground. You know, oops, for uh, can't spell foreground blue and then a uh, background. Uh, yellow you know whatever and uh, we want the text to be bold to bold so we will pass this property list to a face and tell it hey this is how I want you to be once you're outputted so it depends on um, what you're using it and of course in some areas in Emacs you will have to use a property list for example faces right here you're gonna have to do it all right um, <clears throat> let's see uh, yeah that's pretty much it um, I'll add the documentation in the description and you know so you can stop depending on videos like this and actually read the documentation kits because without it we won't get anywhere. <sighs> Alright, um I think I've done enough talking and yeah. Alright, cool. Bye.